the weather is too beautiful for us to not be outside here on the weather patio. But we are standing here with Tomac of the Lansing Bike Co-op. How are you this afternoon? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, Rochelle. Thank you so much. It's so great to have you here. But I want you to tell us, especially with this beautiful season that we have going on, tell us what the Lansing Bike Co-op does for the community. Uh, Lansing Bike Co-op is a 501c3 nonprofit. We're volunteer run and we're all about bike education and access. That's right, and that bike education is so important. And with that being said, what are some of those underrated safety tools and safety uh, tips that sometimes we kind of forget before we head out on the trail? Well, the most important thing is make sure you're wearing your helmet. Mm -hmm. uh, but after that, we recommend something called the ABC Quick Check. Okay. Uh, the A stands for air. You want to make sure your tires are properly inflated. Okay. And let me stop you right there because I actually ran into this problem over the weekend. How do you know if your tire is properly inflated? Do you want to, should you be able to squeeze it a little bit? Like, how would you know if it is or isn't? Yeah. Well, with experience, you'll learn. Uh, uh, by squeezing, mm -hmm. uh, but a good tool to have is a bike pump with a uh, gauge on it right there. And the sidewall of your tire will actually tell you what PSI you want to pump it up to. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's those tips already on here for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. now if you want to go back to the B's. Okay, B stands for brakes. Uh, you want to make sure mm -hmm. uh, your brake ca cables and levers are functioning here and that when you spin the wheel, it actually stops it. Okay, awesome. And sometimes when you are on a trail, sometimes, you know, you may run into a flat. You may have some of those issues, but you have like a, a to-go kit with you that you keep with you at all times. Yeah, it's very important to have that with you. Mm -hmm. uh, oftentimes, they come in a small pouch like this, which you can affix to the rear of your bike. Right. And inside of there, you want to carry with you uh, a bike tube, okay. a pump, and tire levers. That way, if you get a flat when you're on the side of the road, you don't have to call somebody for help. You just do the repair yourself and keep your day going. I love that exactly. The fact that we can keep our day going. You don't have to make a pit stop, and the fun doesn't have to stop from there. Now, another question I have for you is sometimes as drivers, you know, that could be uh, one of the people or things that are in the way when we're enjoying a bike trail. But as drivers, what are some of the things that we can do to be more respectful to people as we're out yeah. on a... Well, bikes have the exact same rights as cars on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, so cars need to wait until it's safe to pass. It's mm -hmm. actually Michigan law that you need to leave at least two feet of space uh, from a biker when you're passing by car. Uh, so just remember to be patient um, and that bikes do have the same uh, rights as cars on the road. That's right. Two feet of space, though. It's good to get for us uh, to keep that in mind. Now, mm -hmm. you guys offer tons of different classes plus open shop. Can you talk to us more about what the Lansing Bike Co-op does and some of those spaces that we can join to learn more? Yeah, open shop is a great way to get involved. Uh, that is on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, from 5 to 8 on Wednesday and Friday and 10 to 1 on Saturdays. Uh, we have a great space uh, with all sorts of bike tools, bike parts, uh, bike frames, uh, and bike mechanics. So just stop in and visit with us and we'll be able to teach you bike skills. That is awesome. And if you're looking at your screen, we're going to put up that too. All of you here at home. So this way you can join them. But with the weather that is going to be beautiful tomorrow afternoon, are there a few trails that you highly recommend for us? Well, we all love the Lansing River Trail. Yes. Um, it connects everything, right? You can exactly. get to Rio Town, you can get to Old Town, Downtown, Campus, uh, Hawk Island, all the way down to Holt. And the great part is it's protected from cars. Um, another etiquette thing is there are a lot of pedestrians on that trail, so mm -hmm. maintain your speed, be vocal, ring your bell if you're going to pass someone on there. That is awesome. Well, thank you so much, Tomac, for all these tips and tricks. And of course, we'll have that information online as to how you can join the Lansing Bike Co-op. So thank you for joining us today. Great. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Well